Welcome to uh, the video for that product. Uh, let's discuss the geometric definition of the dot product. Uh, the dot product of two vectors, V and W, is, a, is the scalar V dot. Do you see there is a dot in here? If you don't have that dot, it's meaningless. V dot W. Uh, which is equal to magnitude of the first vector times magnitude of the second vector times cosine theta, where theta is the angle between V and W. So you look at the, the smaller angle between V and W, and that's theta. And remember, cosine is an even function. So uh, theta or negative theta gives you the same value. Um, so if theta is acute, which is theta is between zero and pi half, then the dot product V dot W is bigger than zero. Why? Because theta between zero and pi half is in first quadrant and cosine of theta is going to be positive. The other two factors are always positive, they're magnitudes. And so the product is going to be positive. If V and W are orthogonal, that means theta is going to be pi half, theta is going to be 90 degrees, then V dot W is equal to zero. This is very important to us because we use this to figure out if two vectors are orthogonal to each other. And again, it comes from cosine of 90 degrees equal to zero. If the cosine of angle between is 90 degrees, then the dot product is zero. If theta is obtuse, that's theta between pi half and pi, then V dot W is less than zero. And that's because this theta, this range theta is in second quadrant. And second quadrant cosine theta is less than zero. The other two factors are positive. So this sine of dot product follows the sine of the cosine theta. Last, the angle between V and W can be found through solving cosine of theta in this formula. So I can say cosine of theta is equal to V dot W over magnitude V, magnitude W, and take our cosine of both sides to solve for theta. So the angle in between is our cosine of uh, this expression. All of this is fun. And obviously there are applications that comes from geometric definition, but I need to compute the dot product. How do I compute the dot product? So I'm going to show you if, the, and I'm going to drive a formula for the dot product. So let's say V and W, we want to dot these two vectors and get a scalar. Remember, dot product gives a scalar. And theta is an angle between. I can't do anything with theta at the moment, but I can actually use the polar angle for the terminal points of V and W uh, to draw some conclusions. So let's ignore um, theta and W and look at V. The polar angle of V is theta one. And then if I drop down a perpendicular, the X component of V is going to be magnitude V cosine theta one. Then if I drop another perpendicular, um, I can see, or I could have seen, seen it in the previous slide also, that V2 or the um, vertical component of V is equal to magnitude of V times sine theta one. Same thing for W1, I can see the polar angle if it's theta two, uh, V1, which is the X component is going to be the magnitude times cosine of that polar angle. And V2 is going to be the magnitude times sine of that angle. Now let's try to 
um, I remember from my identities in trick functions that uh, multiplying uh, basically cosine theta, theta one, cosine theta two, and sine theta one, sine theta two may get me somewhere. So I multiply V1 times V W1, and the other side is going to be the magnitude of the two vectors times cosine, uh, cosine of the polar angle of the first one and cosine of the polar angle of the second one. This column gives you this row. W2 times w, uh, V2 is going to be, again, the magnitude of first vector times magnitude of the second vector times sine of the polar angle for the first one, sine of the polar angle for the second one. Now I can see if I add up uh, this side and this side and factor out the magnitudes, then I can see a cosine of angle theta 2 minus theta 1. Remember, cosine is an even function. I could have written it as cosine of theta 1 minus theta 2. They're the same values. But look over here. Theta 2 minus theta 1 is exactly theta. That's the angle in between. So theta 2 minus theta 1 is that angle. Wait. By multiplying the first components, adding it to the product of the second components, I actually ended up with the geometric uh, formula for dot product. You will not see this part driving a formula in the course, but it's important to sometimes actually go back and look at all these details to help you understand um, some concepts in deeper level. Now that we did this, I have the formula and I don't need to look at this page again unless I'm interested in it. And so the formula that I'm going to use is V dot W is equal to product of the, their first components plus product of the second component. And then this is R2. What about R3? In R3, it turns out that V dot W is the product of the first components V1 times uh, W1 plus product of the second components V2 times W2 plus product of the third components V3 times W3. Now let's do an example in two by the R2. So let's do product, dot product of two and a uh, vector with components two and three, time, dot a vector with components four and five. So it would be two times four, first components, plus three times five, three times five, equal to 23. And that is a scalar. Now, this scalar is bigger than zero. So what do you think the angle between these two vectors going to be? It's the cosine theta is bigger than zero, therefore a, an acute angle. You can also use the formula that we provided to compute that acute angle.